Welcome to this tutorial. It's a totally random tutorial on how to um, make mesh appliers with totally mesh applier textures. So let's jump right in. All of these textures um, are provided using what's called a UUID or a texture key of the image that the creator has made um, for you. It's pretty easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let me get in Second Life. All right, here we are. We are in Second Life, and there I am on the left. Um, here in front of me is um, probably what you will see, or you, it, they may, may change this, but um, you're going to receive um, a note card, this note card, um, which is going to give you um, the instructions on how to put these textures into your mesh appliers so that your mesh appliers can then use the textures to display on the mesh. And we're going to give us an example of this towards the end of the video, but first let's jump into how to do that. Now I do suggest um, to read through this whole note card. It's very important that you kind of understand what's going on. I'm going to give you an overview, and yes, you can do it this way, and it will work with like Lola Tangos and some of the other uh, mesh applier systems. Um, but I am going to use for my example the Lola Tangos applier, and we're going to put it in there, we're going to test it, and it's hopefully going to work. And if all goes well, by the end of this video, you'll know how to make your own appliers with these textures so that you can wear them and look fabulous. So here we go. Um, if you go down through this script, um, towards the bottom of the script, you're going to notice there's two UUIDs or two keys, as sometimes they're called, but long strings of numbers. These numbers represent, and I'm, I'll highlight them here, um, the texture. Um, Second Life uses this number so that it, it can see where the texture is in its, its you know, crazy Second Life-ness. That's how it does it. So anyways, we're going to use these numbers, and you'll notice it says the UUID of the top texture and the bottom texture is this, this information. So this is what we need. So we're going to copy this one of the top because we're going to try um, making an applier for the top or... Um, Lola's are a top texture because you wear Lola's on the top of your body. So, we'll, um, just right click on this UUID or key and click copy. Okay. And then I'm just going to um, close this and I'm going to open my uh, Lola applier kit that I have already rezzed out here just for convenience. We'll edit that and you'll notice in here you're going to have a script that says uh, Lola Tango Top Applier Script. We don't mess with that, but there's one that says <coughs> app Applier Config. That's what the one we're going to play with. So double click that to open it up. And remember to access that once you've edited your box, you just go to this content tab right here. Um, you will by default be here. You go to the contents tab, which is right here, and you'll see this note card here. And inside this note card, it's not very descriptive, but it does say, you know, to put your uh, texture. It says texture UUID right here. And then underneath it, it says texture, which is where we're going to put our number. That big long string of numbers is their default number. So we're going to put our number in there so we can display our texture that we got from Totally Random. So don't mess with all this other stuff. That can just stay the same. And um, it will work just fine. So I'm just going to write, I'm going to highlight this um, texture key or texture UUID that's in there by default. And I'm just going to right click on it and click paste. Okay. And that'll put our number in there. You'll see if we open up our other note card, this number is going to be the same. So I'm actually going to do that. And we're going to compare this number, just a few characters in it, so we know that this is the same because it's important to compare so that you know that your changes took effect. So I'm going to just compare the first two and the last two. So we did this top texture right here. The first two is 6E, and the last two is 28. And if we look at this texture, we'll notice there's 6E and 28, which means everything we did is where it needs to be. So all done with that. So now once you've done that, go back 
here and you just save this tech or this um, note card <clears throat> okay note card saved very well now all that's left to do is to test this out and to test this um, we're going to use uh, owner and creator of totally random Novi Benoit she is here with me to show you now she didn't actually make this applier I made it in front of you in fact I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna call it something so that she can find it in her inventory I'm gonna call this say um, by default it'll say Lola Tango applier but I'm gonna call it um, um, top um, I don't know. top something we'll just call it top why not that sounds great yeah no need to make it more complicated than it needs to be. So you just take this to your inventory, okay? And then um, I'm gonna give it here to Novi by simply going and finding it. It should be in your objects, but if you have too many objects, you can always go to recent and you'll see that um, it should be in my objects. Where did it go? Uh, top, we'll just type top. There we go, top, and we'll send that to Novi here. See, it says Novi has received your item. Okay, let me cam into her so that we can see what's going on here. Um, okay, right now, you know, she just has blank, a blank top on, and she's going to apply that texture hopefully here soon, and we will see how it looks. One thing I didn't point out, it is, it's, it's sometimes important to reset the texture applier box. Um, I didn't do this for this video, but um, it should still work fine. Yep, see there it is. So now, you'll notice if we cam around that this applier matches the outfit that she wore um, on the Lola Tangos. Thank you very much, Novi. So that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Just use this information to make your own pliers. And remember, be unique, be you, be, that's right, totally random.